another five-minute mystery. Police headquarters, Inspector Harris speaking. Inspector Harris, this is Peter Arnold. Yeah? What can I do for you? Inspector Harris, I... I think I'm going to be murdered. What? I... Uh, just a minute ago, I received an anonymous letter threatening my life. Uh, have you any idea who it's from? No. Where are you now? I'm at my office in the Acme building, 10th floor. I'll be right over. Stay right where you are. Oh, yes, Inspector. Only hurry. Here's the place, Chief. The Acme building. Okay. Hope we're not too late. Well, if we hurry, we can... What's the matter, Chief? Here. On the street, little pieces of glass. Glass? Where'd that come from? I don't know. Hey, Chief. Uh, look up there. See that broken window? That's Arnold's office. Come on, Stacy. Something's wrong up there. What's happened up here? Who are you? We're the police. I'm Inspector Harris, and this is my assistant, Joe Stacy. Oh, am I glad you've come. I'm Lois Cranston, Mr. Arnold's secretary. Yeah? Something terrible's happened. Mr. Arnold locked himself in this office. Yes? And just a minute ago, I heard a shot and then glass breaking. Come on, Stacy. Help me break down this door. Okay. All right. Ready? One. Two. Three. There. Holy Moses. Look, Chief. Is anything yes. wrong in... Mr. Arnold! Will you look at that? A bullet hole right through his head. And the window's broken. The murderer must have been standing on the roof of that building across the alleyway and fired through this window. I'm afraid you're wrong. What do you mean? I mean that I'm arresting you, Miss Cranston, for the murder of Peter Arnold. How does the inspector know that Miss Cranston murdered Peter Arnold? We'll give you the solution in just a moment, but first... were shot from outside. The broken glass proves it. Oh, well, that's what you've tried to make us believe. No, Miss Cranston. You shot Peter Arnold from this very room, broke the window to make it look like the shooting was done from outside, and then went out and locked the door. It would have been a perfect murder, except for one thing. What was that? The broken window. You see, we found the fragments of glass on the street. Well... If the bullet had been fired from the outside, the fragments of glass would have gone in the direction of fire. In other words, the glass would have landed inside the room, not on the street. No, Miss Cranston, you murdered Peter Arnold. I don't know why you did it, but we'll soon get the story out of you at headquarters. <laughs> 